Hello there, YouTube. It's Boy 3 back with another kicking. You guessed it. Action figure haul video. <sighs> I said I was going to slow down on the figures, but then there were all these amazing Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, and I just... Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. I got a lot. But, luckily, uh, things are going well for me now, so I think it's okay. First up, uh, we have pretty cool DC figure for you today. It's from McFarlane's DC Multiverse line. It is Wally West the Flash from Speed Metal. This is Wally West in the blue uh, with the Dr. Manhattan uh, hydrogen symbol on his forehead. The post-heroes in crisis -y stuff. Dark Knight's uh, death metal. Uh, I really liked this look for Wally West. I really liked his rebirth look just in general, you know? I really did. There's the whole wave. There's the Build-A-Figure, Darkest Night. Pretty neat. Pretty rad. Gotta love it. But, yeah. That's really cool. And they probably just... It looks like they probably just took the same body mold from their Walmart exclusive Rebirth Harley West Flash. Maybe gave him a new head and a new paint job. But it seems like he's mostly the same. Maybe even the same accessories. That's fine, though, because it is mostly a recolor in the comics also. So it's fine. Anyways, next up, how about Wallace West, the Kid Flash? Yeah, so this is another figure from the same wave. Also, his Dark Knight's death metal look, specifically speed metal, when they're running to try to keep Wally away from uh, the Darkest Knight. That's why he's to build a figure. Uh, and also, they uh, have another figure that can go with this wave. There's the, uh, I believe it's Walmart exclusive gold label Dark Flash, which not only have I already shown in a collection update, but I believe I've already reviewed. Pretty cool, and I really like this look for Wallace. That is a really cool outfit, I think. I really like the goggles and the color scheme and everything. That's a really cool one. Now, next up... It's another McFarlane DC Multiverse figure. It is the Speed Metal, The Flash, Dark Knight's Death Metal. <laughs> <laughs> Jay Garrick yeah pretty cool I'm a huge Golden Age Flash and Justice Society fan I really love me some Jay Garrick I love the Justice Society I'm glad the Justice Society is mainstream now made me so happy when they came back after Doomsday Clock and when I heard they were going to be in Black Adam my jaw just dropped because I was already a big Black Adam fan and then when I heard that one of my favorite superhero teams of all time is going to be in it Dude, Justice Society is so underrated. The first real superhero team in comics, dude. Insane. But yeah, here he is. He also comes with uh, Darkest Night parts. Or part the head. Give me head, Jay Garrick. You didn't hear me say that. But yeah, he's pretty cool. And I'm glad McFarlane will be releasing a kind of classic-y Jay Garrick also that I'm going to get for sure. I love my Garricks, dude. Love it, love it, love it. And the next figure, like, you can probably guess, right? <laughs> I, I feel like you should maybe be able to guess the next figure that I'm going to show you. It's, of course... The McFarlane DC Multiverse Speed Metal, Dark Knights, Death Metal, Barry Allen Flash. Yeah, so this is this whole wave, and it does complete the Build-A-Figure for the Darkest Knights. I'll show him all put together in a future collection update. But Barry, I think, even before taking him out of package, is already the weakest one design-wise. I don't really like how bare his arms are. It seems like his face sculpt is weird. He's got some sloppy paint. I can already tell all that just from looking in the package. But I got the whole wave together for 5% off. Which, if you ask me, was pretty great. So I just went ahead and pulled the trigger on it because I knew I'd want them all anyways. And from the same eBay seller, I also got another figure. They actually sent me an offer on this one. They sent me an offer for a lower price. And it is Batrocitus, also from Dark Knight's Death Metal. This is one of the Dark Batman that works for the Batman Who Laughs, who would become the Darkest Knight. I believe it's an Atrocitus turned Batman and not a Batman turned Red Lantern. I think that 
kind of seems to make more sense. He's got that thicker build. He's got the alien features on the face. He's got the big old claws. Uh, I didn't read all the tie-ins for Death Metal like I did for, uh, you know, normal Dark Knight's Metal. Because most of the tie-ins for Dark Knight's Metal were kind of like an important part of the story. But a lot of the tie-ins for Death Metal just kind of weren't. <laughs> so I haven't read all of them, at least not yet. But uh, I don't remember reading his origin or anything, but I do remember him being in it. So I picked it up. He's cool. I like him. Plus, I always get all the lanterns. I like to get all the Dark Knight, uh, like Dark. I like to get all the Dark Multiverse characters. But I also like to get me these uh, lanterns. Any lanterns I can. So yeah, this was really all a Dark Knight's Metal DC haul this time. Uh, quick recap: We have the Dark Knight's Death Metal. Speed Metal, Kid Flash, Barry Allen, Jay Garrick, and Wally West, which will all build the Darkest Knight. And we also have the Bat Atrocitus. Very cool. So that is it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I will be seeing you all, you guessed it, next time. Bye for now.